This is Inside AISD, the TV show that highlights good news in the Austin Independent School District. In each episode, we will explore exciting activities and programs, as well as recognize students and staff. I'm Gabby Haddad, your host for this episode of Inside AISD. I'm a senior at the Liberal Arts and Science Academy. My fellow AISD students and I will be bringing you a variety of interesting stories. On this episode of Inside AISD, students display the power of creative learning. Middle school and high school choirs participate in Choral Fest. The new Anita Uphouse Early Childhood Center is dedicated. Anderson High School teacher Katherine McNamara earns a prestigious Humanities Award, and high school students create original music. First up is our top news story. AISD has partnered with the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts, the City of Austin, and Mind Pop to launch Any Given Child. It is designed to provide all AISD students with the opportunity to attend arts-rich schools and benefit from learning in a creative classroom. So the goal of the Any Given Child initiative is to give our teachers, our classroom teachers, another tool in the toolbox. So if the students are struggling with understanding, if students are struggling with uh, being engaged, if students are struggling with mastery of a particular topic or subject, we'd like to use the arts integration to help move that. What about this image gives you the feeling of sharing, of generosity, of helping others? What do you see in these characters that's giving you that feeling? Teaching with an arts integrated approach allows my kids to experience what they're learning. And I think that that is what makes this so important. When we're studying science, we can become the water drop that goes through the water cycle, rather than just listening to it or reading about it in a textbook. So it makes my job exciting because the kids are just as excited as I am. I think the initiative is incredibly important because this is a research proven method to really help bridge the gap. I have students who have histories of violent behavior, um, of not being able to focus, not being engaged, students who don't want to participate in learning, and I have no problem with motivation for those students. They're completely engaged. So I feel like this is a method of teaching, an approach to teaching that gives all students an opportunity to explore, to take risks. I feel like it teaches real life skills because these students are making creative choices all the time throughout their day. I'm able to, to teach them all kinds of, of teak based core content knowledge um, through ways that they don't even realize that they're learning. You know, they're practicing a reader's theater script that we wrote on matter again and again and again and wanting to practice it at recess, not realizing that they're working on their fluency. So um, it's, it's a way to, to get kids, every kid, um, engaged in, in what they're learning and have them excited about school and excited about coming to school. Baldwin Elementary School hosted their first annual vocabulary parade based on Deborah Fraser's book, Miss Elanius, A Vocabulary Disaster. In the story, a student confuses the word miscellaneous for the person, miscellaneous. Students and staff at the school have been learning new vocabulary every day and were excited to wear costumes representing their vocabulary words. The Lemelson MIT Inven team recently awarded a $9,500 grant to the Ann Richards School for Young Women Leaders to create a pressurized produce preserver that runs on renewable energy. The school is one of only 16 high schools selected nationwide. The device will allow people with limited resources to have better access to produce. In June, the students will showcase a prototype of their invention at MIT's Eureka Fest. In January, Austin ISD invited families and community members to two public hearings regarding the potential scope of work for a May 2013 bond program. The meetings were held at Crockett and Reagan High Schools and are part of AISD's ongoing effort to gather input and feedback from families and community members about the potential bond. Austin, that have my artwork on them. It's just like every single show is special. You know, I guess in choir, the thing I like the most is that you definitely have a core group. It's like you're not friends, but you're family. Choral Festival has been going on for years. We're doing Choral Festival so that the elementary kids can see what happens when they stick to something that is hard and that is um, challenging. I had uh, 10 kids here 
tonight. I'm a fairly large school and there's a percentage that we're allowed to bring and um, since we are almost a thousand kids this year. We um, did something different. We decided to be all Sopranos and so what I did is um, another school brought as many altos as I brought Sopranos so that the parts are always equal. Tonight we were able to have a small percussion ensemble for one of the numbers and that was made up of teachers. I think it's important that the kids see that their teachers are still performing and they're working together to do what's best for kids and that's why we're here is we want to do what's best for kids. Well I really like it because I classified myself as an alto for a really long time and then in like sixth or seventh grade we discovered that I can hit a high C no problem. So it's been really interesting to like take that experience and to continue to grow as a singer. My favorite thing about singing is I think the way that you can be an individual in certain aspects of it, but it also unifies you as a group. And that's really, you know, I guess in choir, the thing I like the most is that you definitely have a core group. It's like you're not friends, but you're family. And that's really appreciated. It helps you transition and it helps you kind of like keep who you are as a person because you spend so much time developing it and then when you start something new you like get kind of lost in it and everything so it helps you like stay true to who you are and develop who you are. That consistent vertical um, collaboration between um, primary and secondary is key for I think the success of fine arts being um, continued in AISD and also for the kids to realize that they are part of something that is much, much bigger than they are. Even a 275 um, student honor choir, it's so much more than that. And so that they can learn to um, touch their community with music. Natural light filters into every classroom at the new Anita Uphouse Early Childhood Center for pre-K and kindergarten students. Built on seven acres in southeast Austin, it is designed to be educationally energetic and environmentally sensitive. Funds to construct the center were allocated through the 2008 AISD bond program and were designated to help relieve overcrowding at Linder Elementary School. Coming up, AISD and the community dedicate the Anita Uphouse Early Childhood Center. This afternoon, we have the distinct honor and privilege of dedicating this facility to an individual who has been a passionate advocate for early childhood education for over 40 years, Miss Anita Uphouse. Nine weeks ago, we opened our doors to approximately 450 students. We will be able to accommodate more in the next school year. We have kindergarten, preschool programs, and children with disabilities, as well as parenting programs for our parents to give them the support they need in order to support their children as they move towards the field of excellence. I am a product of Project Head Start way back in Houston, Texas, when my parents were given the opportunity to put us in a preschool there, and therefore also were given the opportunity to uh, learn what it was going to take to be supportive of children. I did graduate college, and I came from a neighborhood in which if you were to calculate, one out of 20 was probably going to be successful. So I came from that neighborhood because of a program such as this. So the early childhood department and all of the benefits that you often hear about, it is not something that I read about and just say because I'm passionate about that in my job. It's my life. When I see the parents walk through that door, I see my parents 50-something years ago. And when I see the children walk in with very little in the very beginning and then leave out of here happy, that was my life 50 years ago. So this early childhood center that you see is not just another school. For me, it's my life and my opportunity to give back to that life. And I hope you would join me in making sure that there's some child in this school who will walk away and 50 years later be able to stand before a group such as yourself and say that Uphouse Early Childhood truly made a difference. Some of our future leaders will have attended this school. Some of them are here today. 
They will be the graduates of 2025 and 2026, and then years after that. The children are our hope for the future. I've always been and will continue to be thankful for my years spent working in AISD. I'm finding that the awe of today has me searching for how to adequately express my gratitude to be a part of this wonderful place that was a dream of many of the early childhood teachers who are here today. And they worked so hard to make it come true. Please accept my thanks for sharing this glorious occasion with my family and me. En todo esto, el pensamiento crítico con Glockster me van a demostrar este proyecto en total. There are often things happening in the public school system. So as structured as we might set our, our studies up for, right, there are the individual differences of our participants that we can't necessarily account for. IV stands for the International Baccalaureate Program that we have here at Anderson High School. The students explore the explanations that are afforded by the natural sciences, the human sciences, the arts, history, math, and foreign languages, and it all merges together, and the students in each of those classrooms kind of evaluates the, the strengths and the weaknesses as far as like, what is this allowing me to know about the world? How is it reliable? How is it valid? They test in six different subjects, as well as they complete 150 hours of community action and service hours. And once they have fulfilled all of that curriculum, then they feasibly get the diploma. And that's something that can translate for two years worth of college credit at a Texas university. But it's also something that, that translates for college credit at other universities outside of Texas. It is about what's happening here and having choice as far as like what it is that, that they're doing, as well as having a critical awareness as to the claims that the teachers are making, the claims that textbooks are making, because we're inundated with so many claims and so many choices, especially when it comes to any sort of college or university environment. And so it's making it so that they can swim through that uh, ocean of information, right, that the internet and all of these institutions kind of unleash on us every day. Want to have your good news on Inside AISD? Email us at goodnews at austinisd.org and you could see your story here on Inside AISD. And three of their very talented students came forward and prepared original composition. I approached Greg Goodman with the Austin Independent School District with a proposal that with a uh, TSA state conference here in Austin that we'd like to turn it musical. And I needed his help with AISD. I knew they had talented kids. So we made an offering that uh, we would uh, give a scholarship to any school that performed uh, and prepared an original composition reflecting uh, the different uh, phases of architecture, programming, schematic design, design development, working drawings, and construction. And so uh, we had three takers, that would be Bowie High School, McCallum High School, and Anderson High School. And three of their very talented students came forward and prepared original compositions reflecting each phase of architecture. Uh, they were juried uh, by a secret jury, unknown to many folks, but we now have three winners that will be uh, prepared and played this evening. Thanks for watching Inside AISD, the TV show that covers exciting activities and news in the Austin Independent School District. To learn more about these stories and more, visit our website at www.austinisd.org. To watch more videos about AISD, visit our blog at aisdtv.blogspot.com. Every day counts. When students miss school, we miss out. Make sure students attend all day, every day. For Inside AISD, I'm Gabby Haddad. Thanks for watching.